What is good guys? It's your boy Smith and today we we taking it back to the roots, bro We're gonna be going around the reptile room. I gotta move the mollies out of the tank out front and into the big pond in here I gotta clean the filter in here as you hear look look Filter ain't even doing nothing Ain't even doing nothing So we gotta get in here and clean the filter. I got the wave maker in there doing its thing. Everything's looking good so the water's about ready for the fish to go in. I didn't even see him. Y'all see him down there? I didn't see him down there. Bugs, what you doing, dog? There's no food in my hand. In a second, just give me a second. All right, now before we get started, like I said, let's get in here and get some food for Mr. Guy. Look at him, he, he's waiting. You hungry, guy? Hold up. Normally, I feed him all types of things like vegetable mash and fruit mash and stuff like that. But today, we're doing straight snails. We're gonna make it easy for the both of us. Look, there's my pattern list in the back, chilling. Beautiful animal. They all cohab together, hang out together. I got turtles in here, too. I don't know where they are, but a couple silver miley in here, a couple fish. We're gonna plant this and everything, get it uh, fully decked out, but I'm gonna go ahead and move the fish in and get this straight today. The um, tank that they're in outside is gonna be repurposed, and I really feel like they should be in something a lot bigger anyway. So we'll get them a 75 gallon later on. And then, um, yeah, we'll upgrade them later on separate them all and everything but right now we're gonna move them into the back let's go and these are the mollies that we're moving these are the ones from molly world my breeding project um these are the mollies that we'll be moving into the back it was fine when it was just five or six of them out here but now they've started having lots and lots of babies there's close to a hundred of them we want to we want to give them some space all of the white ones are going to be moved into the pond and anything with any type of like color variation is going to be moved into the small tank in my room um, also the ones from outside, we got the ones outside out here, right? I've been uh, keeping certain ones separated out here. These will also be moved into the pond inside to give them a better chance of life. Okay, so we got most of the fish from the outside tank separated. These ones will go in the small tank. These ones will go in the big pond. And then I gotta still get the ones from outside. And then after that, I'm rebuilding that enclosure. All right, so we got everybody on up out of there. They're into the back. We're about to go uh, take some footage of them. Just check on them, make sure everybody's getting acquainted. The objective is to get this cleaned up. We're gonna be rebuilding this for Prince Azul, which is my green kill scale lizard. That was my male, he's huge, so he's outgrown his tank and he needs an upgrade. So we moved all the fish into the big pond. They got an upgrade. He's getting an upgrade too. Let's go. All right, so we got most of it cleaned up. Boom, boom, everything's looking good, glass clean. Um, we got our river rocks in for our false bottom. And we're about to start planting soon. I just wanted you to see progress where we are. We got it nice and cleaned up. About to start building the mansion for Azul. Let's go. Okay, so we're making a little bit of progress. I got my, um, my false bottom done. My dirt in here, a couple of plants. We took it all the way to the top. Normally I don't build to the top, right? But Azul is a tree dweller. So I want him the option, or have the option to go from the ground to the trees, all the, all the way to the top if he wants. And then also be able to duck off in the back and have places to hide from us. All in all, this is um, this is like four times as much space as he had though. So but we're still, like I said, getting, still gonna give him the option to go to the top, be himself. So we're making progress. All right, y'all. So we got uh, plants in. We might even plant some more, but we got the LED running just to see how much light is getting to the bottom. There's really no light going all the way to the bottom, which is crazy. And then over here, we've got the UV and the basking spot. We used um, cork wood, a big piece of cork wood with the pothos in it. And then we've added another piece on top just so we can climb all the way to the top. And then he can disappear in the trees if he wants to. We're gonna kind of check this out and see if, see see what we want to do from here. And then now if we go to the tent, this is where we moved the fish. And everybody has found a place. We're all doing well. Got a wave maker in here to help stimulate, you know what I'm saying, stimulate the fish. Create a little bit of current form so they can 
feel like they're in a natural environment. But um, yeah, they've all spread out and we got a lot more space in here, so and they're using it. We got some playing here in the current, some over there in the still water. The turtles are happy, everybody's happy, so but it looks good in here. You gotta do like a probably like a 30% water change. But other than that, everything's good, man. Look, look at Bubs. What's up, dog? How you doing? It's lunchtime for him, so I'm gonna leave him to do his thing. All right, and this is where we are now. We got the big plant on the left side completely taking up the left corner. That's where I want him to, to be able to retreat on multiple levels, the ground, the mid-level, and the top. Be able to get away and feel safe and secure over here, anywhere in, in this enclosure. We added more wood going all the way to the top, literally up to the top. And this is where the UV and the basking spot is. These are the LEDs over here for the plants. He has the options to go from the ground all the way up to the top and can disappear in the trees if he wants. And then he can do that over here too. So I think he'll like it. So we're not gonna add too much more. We're gonna give him a hide on the ground level. Down here, I'll probably put it here. We'll feed and everything on the floor, giving him reason to come down and then also reason to go back up. But um, yeah, it's okay. I wanted to, to silicone the walls and everything, but um, that's a very permanent solution. Not very permanent, but here in Florida, we, we, we gotta clean a lot. Man. There's bugs that move in all the time. Spiders come in, things come in from outside, especially with this being right by my slider. There's gonna be things moving into this enclosure. I, I know this that it's inevitable, so we're gonna have to be able to take things out and clean them regularly. Yeah, looks good. I'm gonna go check on him, see if he's even awake yet. And this is his old enclosure. Um, Nothing really too wrong with it, you know what I mean? That's live back there, just growing in. It was supposed to be growing up, and for some reason it's growing over that way in the back. Yeah, he hasn't decided to come out today. I'm pretty sure he's still in his hide here. Yep. And get ready to move him into his new enclosure. And we also want to go ahead and take this time out. I already took him out and moved him. I want to take this time to go ahead and clean this enclosure. I'm not going to film any of that, but clean this enclosure up and get it ready. Because I got some other things going on. But yeah, we're going to give him some time to settle in up there to see if we can uh, catch some footage. He's not sitting under the um, UV or the basking spot, though, which is over here. But he's also only been in here for a couple minutes. He'll he'll figure it all out. But he has the options, and it seems that he he loves it. And it's dope. And it's super dope. We can give him some time to see how he does in here. Get him some food in here, and just let him do his thing. is pretty much it guys oh yeah you see you see yeah all things living anyways that's pretty much it i told you i'd keep you updated on azul's condition and everything and pretty much the journey uh we've had him for a couple years now we're uh looking to get a female check this out Good. 
Yeah, picked up this beautiful little girl. That was the real reason why we were rushing to get Azul into the new enclosure. I wanted to make sure she could go in her own enclosure until she's up to size and ready to breed and all of that. Still gonna be a long time. She's here and uh, we got her set up. This is her set up right here. Yep. And I keep you updated on her condition. Everything's going well over here though. Pretty much the video, y'all. Everybody's doing well. We got the female. She's in looking very good. We're gonna get her up the way. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. It's your boy Smith. All things living. We out.